All right, we're here with uh, Coach Corey Griner to talk some MMA men's soccer. Coach, you guys are headed to the Sweet 16 for the first time since uh, 2008. What's the overall team feel and heading into the second weekend? Uh, everyone's really excited. We're, uh, we're uh, you know, we felt like we rose to some challenges uh, last weekend in the, in the first uh, NCAA weekend. And, uh, we were able to come through kind of uh, uh, a little bit fortunate, but also I think, you know, the guys have worked really hard and, and deserved uh, some of the results. So. We're very much looking forward to the Sweet 16 um, and the kind of the sectionals coming up this weekend. Right, let's kind of recap that opening weekend. You know, you guys came out real aggressive in the opening 30 minutes against Dickinson. Uh, another two two goal game from Jason McCartney. Uh, another senior, Christian Meyer, got in on the scoring action. And then on Sunday against Lynchburg, you know, defensive battle. You know, the back lines kind of match each other for the first 70 minutes or so until Mustafa Kitab, uh found the game winner. Uh, what would you, what'd you kind of like out of your team from that weekend? What'd you like to see more of? You know, heading into the sectionals. Yeah, uh, I was really, really happy with the first half uh, against uh, Dickinson in the first game. Um, I think it's really, really important to kind of get started on the right foot anytime you're entering an NCAA play. And uh, so for us coming out uh, in the first half, uh, we were really, really good in terms of keeping possession, uh, kind of dictating play. Uh, I think uh, you know offensively that was probably one of the better. Um, you know, halves that we've probably put together um, and really, really try to put the other team under and suffocate them and kind of not let them back into the game, kind of put it away early uh, so that we could maybe try to rest some guys because double weekends are long weekends. So uh, I was really, really pleased with the group uh, coming out of that performance. Uh, and then the second game uh, against Lynchburg, we knew Lynchburg has uh, some really good players, fantastic record. Obviously, they're at home and the weather and uh, the environment was kind of suited for them. So I'm really, really proud of our guys rising to the, uh, the challenge in terms of having the right mentality, kind of grinding it out. And uh, that second game against Lynchburg was definitely a little bit more of a tactical battle uh, and uh, you know, a little bit more defensively, um, kind of uh, was, was kind of more our focus in that match, making sure we weren't going to give up anything. And, uh, we were very fortunate. Moose preyed on one of their mistakes that I, I think good teams uh, in, in those tight games, you got to kind of take advantage when our opponent makes a mistake. And obviously, you got to try to limit yours so that you're not making uh, critical mistakes. And, and like I said, we were very fortunate. Moose, Moose was able to uh, kind of prey on uh, one of their uh, mistakes, and then we kind of locked it down after that. All right, you guys are headed up to Chicago this weekend for sectionals. Uh, se sectional round featuring Calvin, Chicago, uh, and our matchup against uh, Mary Harden Baylor on Friday. Uh, first, you know, you've already gotten to Chicago, had a successful trip there back in early October. Uh, is there like an advantage going back there uh, where you've already had success, and uh, especially compared to Mary Harden Baylor, who's only played two games outside the state of Texas all season? Yeah, uh, yeah. So for us, I mean, I, I uh, like I said, I haven't. Uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm still looking at tape from some of the teams, and, and obviously from all the games we're getting scouts. But uh, you know, as, as far as we're concerned, uh, you know, we're really, really comfortable, and we're really pleased with the draw. And um, going to Chicago, uh, they're a league opponent. We're very comfortable with the travel, the flight there, the hotels there, uh, good places to get food. Um, we've got quite a good contingent of family and uh, uh, alumni that uh, are in the Chicago area. So for us, it's, uh, you know, it's very similar to what we experience in our league, uh, league games. Um, and so I, th I think for us, you know, that they're going to be a great host. We're, we're, we know that. Um, and uh, so we're, we're very much looking forward to kind of the setup. And it's, it's not going to be something that's going to be crazy, unusual for us. Um, and I, like I said, I mean, maybe, uh, you know, the weather um, might be a little bit of a factor. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. It, it sounds like that maybe our opponents haven't experienced that either. So, uh, you know, for us, I think, you know, making sure, uh, you know, we get up there and kind of get all, all of our uh, meetings and, uh, stretches and meals and everything squared away. Uh, it's going to be as important as, as the soccer part. And then, uh, I know you just said you're still watching some film on Mary Harden Baylor. You watched their last game against Trinity where they pulled off uh, the 3-2 win and advanced to the next round. Uh, what can we kind of expect from them um, on Friday night? Yeah, so I, I, uh, you know, looking looking at their group, uh, they got some really talented players. They've got some really uh, pacey players. Uh, I was really impressed with them. Uh, you know, on the counterattack against Trinity. Trinity is a really good team, and uh, you know, for them to uh, to you know take down Trinity, there's no question that they have quality uh, defensively. They're organized, and we're definitely going to have our hands full. We're not looking, f you know, past that game. So for us, uh, it's going to be really, really important that we can kind of contain them a little bit um, when they're attacking, and then obviously uh, when we have our chances, 
you know, picking the right moments when we can break them down and, and hopefully finishing chances. All right, now one last question before we go. Uh, you know, some guys on the team broke out a new look this weekend, some bleach blonde hair and stuff. <laughs> can we expect anything from you this weekend? Uh, we will have to wait and see. There have been rumors that some of the guys were going to try to tie me down and uh, bleach my uh, bleach the beard. Uh, so uh, we'll see. I'm hoping that I can. I'm trying. going to try to avoid them in the, uh, uh, you know, in the office. So uh, we'll see. All right, and uh, thanks and good luck in Chicago. Appreciate it. Thank you.